Hi all, in this video I will show you how I created this composite. So I call these composites a uh, sequence composite which basically combination of multiple pictures shot in the same scene which shows the movement of the subject. So in this case I, sh I was shooting at 12 frames per second and uh, this entire this action shown in this picture was done in less than a second basically all you need to make these kind of composites is you have you need to have multiple pictures shot at the scene and those pictures should share the background need, need not be same background in all the pictures but at least they should have an overlapping background so that way photoshop can identify and uh, so you don't need to have uh, very good skills of Photoshop to do this. Uh, very basic skills are needed. I'll try to keep it, keep this uh, tutorial more detailed so that even a new user should be able to follow. And uh, so once you have the images, and if the and another criteria is there should be a, a minimum gap between the subject in each picture. So that means the subject should have been moved in picture to picture. So, so in these photos, you can see the bird has moved considerably in these three, three, six, nine pictures. So, and uh, another criteria is that you need to have a constant background. So in this case, the background is fixed. There is nothing moving in the background. So that will help Photoshop uh, auto align and auto blend the pictures easily and there is another complicated scenario where the background also moves and in that case sometimes photoshop has uh, finds it difficult to align and blend the pictures in such cases we will have to manually align the pictures so we are not going to cover that scenario in this so we are only going to cover uh, this uh, picture this composite where the background is fixed and bird is moving from left to right so but I can show you other pictures where the background is moving so in this picture the background is fixed so it is easy to make a composite and if you see this scenario where while the bird is moving down the water is moving left so when you try to align these three pictures Photoshop tend to have difficulty in aligning and sometimes it it even aligned wrongly so in that cases I man I usually manually align them thinking based on I assume where the bird would have been in each pick and sometimes I take artistic liberty to move it a little further so in this case just to show each bird clearly in the original scenario these birds all these three pictures would have been much closer so so I can show you some more pictures I made using this concept. So most of them are ospreys. So this is a hawk and this is a great blue heron. This is a mallard duck, osprey again and osprey dive. This is a bald eagle and another great blue heron. So without any further ado, let get started so let's get into Photoshop so I already have saved all the images I wanted to use for this in a, in a folder uh, or you can import those folders from Lightroom if you already have them in Lightroom and if you have already made some changes to those pictures you can directly get them into Photoshop by selecting those pictures right click and edit pictures in Photoshop as layers so I'm going to load them from directly into Photoshop so you can go to scripts load files into stack and you can browse for the files I have them in this folder you can select click open and you do have an option to attempt to auto align the source images this is what we are going to do anyway 
but uh, I will show you how you can do it one, uh, after we load the pictures so I'm not going to check those but you can check them it will auto align after loading the pictures so you can click OK and then Photoshop takes some time to load these pictures because these are all raw pictures okay so now all the pictures are loaded so for this tutorial I have, uh, I have only loaded six of them so make it to make it easy and to finish it faster so the first thing we do is uh, auto align them so just select all of them go to edit click on auto align layers and then make sure you have auto option selected and you don't need to have these two options selected and just click on OK and then Photoshop's uh, Photoshop based on the background in each picture it will auto align all these pictures okay so it was pretty quick so now you can see the picture the, each photo has been moved based on the background you can un uncheck layer by layer and now you can see that the bird is moving in each picture so looks like the pretty, uh, Photoshop has done a good job so the next thing is uh, if you are aware of the layer masks and all you can start applying layers and just erase erase section of the layers to reveal the below layers and you can reveal the uh, entire sequence but uh, I will show you another way uh, that works easy and it is a uh, little better to fix any issues to do that right click now select all the layers and right click and duplicate them so you know you can change the name or you can just click ok so as soon as you do that you have uh, another duplicate set created so now with that set selected go to edit and click on auto blend layers so here you have two options panorama and stack images select stack and make sure you have these two options selected and then click on ok okay the photoshop has completed blending the pictures and it also filled the gaps with the content based on the surrounding pixels so that's good for us so you can go to select and deselect so as you can see you can uh, all uh, almost the composite rays looks like it is ready but uh, there are some issues I can show you uh, before that let's just uh, add some brightness to this picture just so that you can see better and if you if I zoom in if I zoom in here you can see that there are some discrepancies so though Photoshop has done a decent job there are still some issues here and there so that is the reason we have kept the originals aside so that we can fix those issues so what we need to do is select all the duplicate blended layers right click on them and click on merge layers so now the layer has been merged we can zoom out and uh, we can bring that layer to bottom and uncheck all the above layers so that you see the bottom layer and now if you reveal layer by layer you can see which foot uh, you can see each foot each layer individual layer being revealed so in this uh, once I reveal this layer you can see Osprey looks fine in this layer but in the blended layer there are some issues so we can fix those issues for each layer by select that layer click on that layer mask by default it selects the white layer mask uh, but you can click on control command i or control i in windows and then it will turn into black so black means it reveals 
everything below white means it hides everything below so what we want to do is we want to reveal the information reveal the pixels that are being wrongly processed by photoshop for example in this section so photoshop has done a bad job so we are going to reveal we are going to get these pix pixels from this layer so to do that select on the brush and a soft round brush select opacity is 100 low as 100 and make sure white has been selected so you can switch using this or you can also use x to toggle between white and black so, so white being selected with a layer mask as black try to start painting on this so this will reveal the osprey in this layer so you, you don't need to do everything you only need to fix the places where it has some issues so similarly keep doing for the ego layers so so this layer okay in this there is another issue where the bird from the previous layer is aligned so it's up to you to decide whether you want to show wing of this bird or this bird so wherever it has uh, aligned wherever they both are overlapping it's up to you to decide with which one you want to reveal so i would like to reveal this bird and hide this bird's wing so you can do that so let me see so clicking on command i i can see where the bird's wing is so, so i can do that i can okay so if you do that then looks good but i don't want to leave any gaps so to fill that click on x so that the brush becomes black and slowly fill in those gaps so this is how you can do this and this looks good you can take some more time and refine it more thoroughly you can increase or decrease the brush size using uh, square brackets on your keyboard so that is how you just blend these layers so I'm going to continue doing that for the remaining layers and I'll fast forward it for you okay it's almost ready now so you can see now each bird looks clear without any issues so once you're done with that and if you're happy with this you can keep the layers as it is if you want to come back and refine them but if you are okay with this you can just flatten your image that will combine all the layers into one and it will also reduce the file size so you can crop it and then make some adjustments to make the image look better I usually add some levels to look at, make it look better and some curves so, so I think this looks better, I guess. And we can add some saturation in that thing to it. Yeah, I think this looks good. Yeah. So yes, so this is how you can make composites using Photoshop. Thank you.